Hey everybody and welcome back to Das Studio. In this video we're going to look at creating different shapes using the geometry editor in Das Studio. Before we get started a huge thank you to everyone who subscribes and hits that notification icon that really helps me out and of course an even bigger thank you to my members and patrons your names will be running across the bottom of the screen as the end of the video. So let's jump into this then. So the first thing we need to do is actually create a shape that we can edit. So I'm going to click on this icon at the top here that looks like three shapes smushed together and I'm going to create a plane and I'm going to give it somewhere in the region of about 50 divisions, two meters across. I know you actually can't see any divisions right now because the view mode that we're in won't allow it to. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this thing that looks like a cricket ball at the top here. I'm going to click on that and where it says Y shaded, we're going to select that. So now we can see our divisions, our vertices, our lines, etc. So what we need to do is we want to come into the geometry editor tool, which looks like a pencil hovering above a checkerboard over here. And the first thing we're going to do is select our shape. So we've got the plane selected. Now we're going to right click and we're going to change the selection type and make sure that it's set to selection mode marquee select like that. And then we're going to just click on the top here like so, so that it gets us more or less perfectly lined up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just drag a selection like that. And as you can see, it's selected those faces. Now what we're going to do is we're going to right click on that. And where it says geometry editing, we're going to delete selected polygons. We're going to say yes in the uh, notification window that appears. And as you can see now, we have deleted those faces from our shape. And there we go. And we can do this to any shape. We can do it to a sphere as well. So if we were to go and create ourselves a sphere with 20 sides and all that sort of thing, uh, we can select our sphere, which will now allows us to select our uh, faces on there. We're gonna right click again, geometry editing, delete selected polygons, select yes. And there we go. We've got a funky little fruit bowl kind of arrangement going on with a weird placemat with a hole in the middle of it. So that's all there is to that guys. I hope you found that useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Hopefully I'll see you again next time and until then take care of yourselves guys. Bye bye.